What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, we're going to build a modern body mass index calculator with Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to build this BMI calculator. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out tkinter.com where I have a bunch of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code GUIs with Kinter. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books, one-time fee, which is insanely cheap. And be sure to download your totally free PDF version of the Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome. It has all the attributes for all the widgets in Kinter right at your fingertips. Get a free copy of that right now. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book and download that now. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to build this cool BMI calculator. So we can clear the screen. You can say you enter in your height in inches, enter in your pounds. Let's say I'm uh, 300 pounds, calculate your BMI, boom, extreme obese. And we've got a little guide up here and it's pretty cool. Now we're using the custom Kinter library to make this look all modern and cool, have rounded everything. And uh, that's what we're gonna do in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic Kinter starter code that we've always got. I also added, from pill import image and image TK because we're going to have images and I imported the custom Kinter library. Uh, be sure and pip install that on your terminal if you don't have it already. I've got a video on installing custom Kinter. I'll stick it in the description below if you guys are interested in looking at that. Okay, the first thing we want to do is define the image. This little image at the top and I just made this in Photoshop. It's just a rectangle with some text on it, right? So we want to just come down here. I'm going to call this a meter. This is sort of like our BMI meter and this is going to be an image. TK that of course we imported from up here. And this is dot photo image. And we want to image dot open this guy. And I just saved this in this exact directory so I can call the images directory. That's where I saved this folder. And this is going to be meter 2.png. If you want that image, you can download it from my GitHub repository. It should be up there when I push this code in a little bit. So, okay. Now let's go ahead and add this to our screen. So I'm going to call it in meter uh, IMG. And I'm just going to use a regular label to do this. We want to put it in root. We want the image to equal meter. And I'm going to give this a border of zero just so there's no little outline around it. So next we want to pack this onto the screen. So let's go dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y of like 20 just to kind of push it down the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and run it. Just make sure that looks okay. And back over to our terminal run Python BMI dot pi. And when we do, we get this little image up here. That looks good. Okay, next, we need a couple of entry boxes. And we're going to use the custom Kinter entry boxes for that. So let's define entry boxes. So we need a height entry boxes and a width entry boxes. So I'm going to call this one H entry. And this is going to be a custom Kinter dot C T K entry. And notice the capitalization C and T are capitalized and the E is capitalized right? And we want to put this in our root window. We want some placeholder text. We want that to say height in inches. And let's give this a width of 200 and a height of like, I don't know, say 30 or so. And let's give this a border underscore width of one and a corner underscore radius of 10. So the border width is the, the outline of the entry box. The corner radius is how rounded we want it. If you want it more rounded, change this 10 to 15 or 20 or whatever you want. So let's go H underscore entry dot pack this guy. Let's pack this onto the screen. And let's also give this a pad Y of 20. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and paste it again. And instead of H entry, let's do W entry, short for weight entry, I guess. And uh, let's say here, put this as weight in pounds. Now I'm using pounds and inches. If you're, if you want to use metric, you could do that as well. Uh, you'll have to Google the conversions because the the calculations for BMI index calculation is a little bit different for inches and pounds as it is for you know metric system. So keep that in mind. So. All right, that looks good. Let's save this and run it just to make sure that looks okay. Oh, I misspelled something. Oh, this should be placeholder underscore text. And placeholder underscore text. All right, that's why we run these things as we go. All right, so let's try this guy again. 
Okay, so we got height in inches and weight in pounds. And you notice there's placeholder text. When we click on there, it disappears and we can type stuff in. So, all right, so far so good. Now we need a couple of buttons. Let's come down here and type in buttons. So I'm just gonna call this button underscore one. And, and this is gonna be a custom Kinter button dot CTK button. And we wanna put this in root. We want the text to equal calculate BMI, body mass indexed. Uh, let's give this a width of, I don't know what to say, 190. Give it a height of 40. And we wanna give this a compound of top. And we're gonna give it a command in a little bit, but we don't need to do that just yet. And so let's go button underscore one dot back. Let's give this a pad Y of say 20 to push it down the screen a little bit. Okay, now we need button underscore two. And that's gonna also be a custom tkenter dot ctk button. We wanna put it in root. We want the text on this guy to say clear screen. We want the width to be 190 and the height to be 40. Now let's change the foreground color of this button. We want it to look a little different. So I'm gonna put this as D3 5B58. We want the hover underscore color to equal C77C78. And that should be good for now. Now let's button underscore two dot pack this guy, give it a pad Y of 20. Push it down the screen a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it. Make sure that's looking okay. Okay, not too bad. When we hover, it changes color. Looks good. Finally, down here, we want a place to put out our results. And I'm just going to create a basic label. This is going to be a custom tkinter.ctk label. We want to put it in root. We want the text right now to equal nothing. And let's give this a text underscore font of Helvetica and like size 28 or something like that. Make it nice and big. And let's go results.pack and give this a pad Y of like 50 to kind of really push it down the screen a little bit. Okay, so now we've got our basic layout. We need to create some functions to do some things. So let's really quickly knock out the clear screen function. So here's our button to clear the screen. Let's come down here and give this a command of clear underscore screen. And let's just go ahead and copy this guy and come up here. And what, underneath our images or somewhere, let's define clear screen. And here we just wanna clear the entry boxes and our label. So let's go H underscore entry dot delete. We wanna delete from zero to end. And do the same thing for W underscore entry dot delete. Also from zero to end. And also our results, let's dot config and set the text equal to nothing. Okay, let's go ahead and save this run just to make sure that works. So I've got some stuff here, some stuff here. When I click this, boom, it clears it. Okay, that looks good. Now we need to do finally the BMI calculations. So let's come down to our button here, our main button, and let's give this a command of get underscore BMI, or something like that. Let's go ahead and copy this, come up here, and let's define get BMI. And first let's calculate BMI. So to calculate our BMI, it's basically weight, say pounds, divided by height in inches raised to the second power, so squared. So height times height, right? And then that whole thing times 703. So let's come down here and let's just be very explicit. Let's create some new variables for our height and weight because when you get it from the entry box, we have to convert it to integer, integers and then we also wanna do this, uh, you know, squaring thing here. So let's just map this out explicitly instead of having one long equation that's hard to read, right? So this is gonna be an integer. We wanna make sure we convert our height to integer from the entry box. And this is gonna be h underscore entry dot get, there we go. And we want to multiply that by the integer of h underscore entry dot get. So that will square this, right? So there's our height. So let's also go our weight, and that's just gonna be the entry of w underscore entry dot get, there we go. And finally, now let's calculate our BMI. So the BMI is gonna be just r underscore weight divided by r 
underscore height times 703. Now we wanna round this to one decimal spot. So let's go BMI underscore rounded. And that's gonna be, we wanna use the round function. And this is just basic Python. We want the BMI, we wanna to round to one decimal point. So for now, let's just print out BMI underscore rounded, just to make sure this works. Go ahead and head back over here, run this guy. So I am 76 inches, I weigh 178 pounds. We calculate this, close it, boom, that looks correct. Okay, so now we just need to output that onto the screen and kind of make it pretty. And we could do that just by going results.config and then setting the text equal to, we want to make sure and convert this back to a string. So string of BMI underscore rounded. Now we could play around with this and make an F string, right? So let's go ahead and do that. And we wanna put this whole thing in brackets and you'll see why this is important in just a second. So let's go ahead and save this and run it, make sure this is working. Again, we want 76 inches, I weigh 178 pounds, boom, 21.7, cool. So now, this is, we're done. We could be done like this, but let's play around with this. Let's make it nicer. Let's change the color of this to match these colors. And let's also say, you know, 21.7, what is that? Well, that's normal. So let's also output normal onto the screen, All right? So we could do that with some basic logic. So here, let's go logic. So let's go if BMI underscore rounded, is less than 18.5, then we can copy this. And inside of here, let's put a new line and then the word underweight, because that's what you are if you're less than 18.5, right? And let's give this a text underscore color of 54B1E1, which is that light blue. Okay, elif BMI underscore rounded is greater than or equal to 18.5 and BMI underscore rounded is less than or equal to 24.9. And I'm getting these numbers from that little image that has the numbers on it, right? So here we can copy this whole thing, paste it in. So instead of underweight, this is gonna be normal. And the color for normal is B3D, B3D, 686, 686, there we go. Okay, so now I can just copy this. We have five of these and we've done two. So we want one, two, three more of them. So this guy is 25.0 all the way up to 29.9. And when you do that, you are overweight and your color is FED 429. All right, and this next guy is 30, 30.0 up to 34.9 and then you're obese. And the color for obese is FBA F42. And finally, the last one is just greater than or equal to 35. And there is no and. And here you are extreme obese. And your color is F25356. And I just got all these colors from Photoshop by pulling up that image that I created and using the same colors as the image, right? So, all right, let's go ahead and save this and see if that worked. A lot of copying and pasting, and I always make mistakes when I copy and paste. So let's go 76 inches, 178 pounds, calculate, normal. And we're seeing here, it's not quite fitting, so we might need to, let's just go ahead and make our app a little bit bigger. So what, say 650? I don't know. All right, so 76 inches, 178 pounds, boom, normal. If we are, let's say 200 pounds, still normal, 220, I don't know. Ah, 220 is 26.8, which we see is overweight. All right, let's try 240, still overweight, 260. Oh, obese, 31.6, which is between 30 and 34.9, that looks right. And let's just blow this out to 300. 
extreme obese. Same color red. Pretty good. So let's go 100 pounds. Just make sure the underweight one. Okay, underweight. And now we can clear the screen and we can try it again. 76, 178. Still seems to work. Pretty cool. And that's all there is to it. So a fun little app. We can do some, you know, basic math. We can do some images. We can get some rounded entry boxes and rounded buttons, get some experience using the custom Kinter library that we just love to use. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out tkinter.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, hundreds of videos and the PDF of my new Kinter widget book. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.